I want to share with you the gospel, the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4, the apostle Paul defines the gospel as this, that Jesus Christ was crucified, that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day, defeating death, paying in full for the sins of all mankind. That's the gospel. That's the good news. Now, how do you respond to the gospel? It's ABC simple, known as the ABCs of salvation. The A is for admit or acknowledge that you're a sinner, that you've fallen short of God's perfect standard of righteousness. Romans 3.10 says, there is no one righteous, not even one. Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death, the death penalty, which Jesus came and paid for instead of us. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The B is for believe in your heart. This is Romans 10, 9 and 10. It says, if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. And then the C is for call upon the name of the Lord or confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and that God raised him from the dead. This is Romans 10, 9 and 10, which also says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. And lastly, Romans 10, 13 says, all who call upon the name of the Lord will be be saved. If you've never called upon the name of the Lord, I implore you today before you leave this beautiful church today to do so. If you're watching online, I implore you, do not put this off. We are at the end. The time is at hand. Please stand. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you so much Lord, I thank you for telling us in your word very specifically what the world is going to look like and be like at the time of the end. Because as we look around, it is very clear, without question really, that it's exactly as you said it would be. Lord, I pray for anyone who is weary discouraged, longing for your return, that you would encourage and strengthen their hearts. And just as a reminder to them, would you, as only you can, fill them afresh with this hope that no matter what they go through, you're going to get them through it until you come. And for those who have never called upon you, Lord, I pray that today it would be the day of their salvation as we all long for and anticipate our wedding day to you, Jesus, as our bridegroom. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.